welcome to the Heart and Chest Matters podcast. This is the first in a brand new series focusing on some of the extraordinary people who provide specialist heart and chest care for patients and families at Liverpool Heart and Chest Hospital. Our first guest on Heart and Chest Matters is Dr. Vishal Luther. Dr. Luther is a consultant cardiologist and the Associate Chief Clinical Information Officer at Liverpool Heart and Chest Hospital. He was also the founder of CardioWebinar.com, a free, virtual, online platform for cardiology education. And this is the focus of our discussion today. Dr. Luther, good morning. Now, you're a cardiologist here at Liverpool Heart and Chest Hospital. But can you tell us a little bit about your role and what that entails. Thanks Matt and uh, thank you for this invitation to speak. I have been a consultant cardiologist and heart rhythm specialist appointed here since October 2020. Uh, So that involves me looking after patients who've got heart rhythm disorders, people who suffer from palpitations, dizziness and blackouts, uh, whether it be involved in implanting pacemakers or defibrillators or performing catheter ablation procedures. And what about other responsibilities? Do you have any particular clinical areas of interest? Post-COVID, we've seen a rich increase in the use of digital technology and digital innovation. And for someone who's not really been that aware of digital technology in my prior practice, I've tried to embrace it as much as we all have. And currently I'm the Associate Chief Clinical Information Officer for the Trust, which my main responsibility is trying to bridge the gap between our fantastic digital team at HCH and the clinicians so that we can welcome all the new change that we've seen post-COVID. So clearly the last 12 to 18 months through the pandemic has been a challenge. So how has COVID changed things for you as a cardiologist? With COVID, we moved to telephone-based consultation. There was obviously a disconnect between the patient and doctor given the divide. In particular with heart rhythm management, we are often trying to explain procedures to patients. I'm personally a big fan of using diagrams to explain procedures. Not having the opportunity to do that in clinic, I found very difficult and I often felt I couldn't explain procedures as best as I would have liked to. To that end, I created a series of patient videos explaining procedures as a five to ten minute sketch which are now available on the trust website now one of the other areas you're passionate about is education and we said at the top that you're involved with something called cardio webinar so could you tell us a little bit about this yeah sure so what you've been talking about is called cardio webinar and cardio webinar was another uh, creation which began and was born out of covid as we all know education completely went on pause as a consequence of COVID-19 to minimise face-to-face interaction. And with that, like we saw such a growth in digital innovation, virtual education through webinars became increasingly popular. Now, what started as a small organisation where I trained in London grew quite rapidly, uh, predominantly through social media, where speakers throughout the country who were experts in their field, gave up their time and efforts to put on a virtual webinar for trainees predominantly throughout in London then what grew through the support of the British Junior Cardiac Association to a national innovation of teaching. We essentially put on webinars uh, three times a week through the peak of COVID and we use those to continue education and maintain morale. And the feedback from the early stage was really, really popular. So in your mind, Vish, what are the advantages of webinars in education? It's been a a big learning curve because we weren't so used to webinar-based education, but we've learned a lot of advantages through it. The fact is, Matt, is we've now put on 60 webinars just over 15 months. And the reason we've been able to do that is because of the ease of organisation. You need a willing speaker, you need a video platform, and an interested audience, and a means of communicating that through social media, for example, our Twitter platform, at Webinar. And then, 
um, as long as you've got a robust Wi-Fi connection, you're good to go. So no longer do you need to have a hotel or um, a, a conference. No hotel do you require fees for overnight accommodation, travel cost or excess speaker fees. The cost of everything is really reduced. So you've got ease of organisation and considerably reduced costs, which I'd say are two really valuable advantages. The third big one is the fact that they can be recorded. Having a recording of an uh, education is really powerful because it's helpful for those who are, uh, have um, other commitments, whether it be because they're on call or less than full time. Um, and also, people learn at different pace. Some people can learn everything in a, in a meeting. Some people need time to watch things again, digest things slower and at their own pace. And the fact that it's so easy to record things is really valuable. Now, all of our recordings are available on www.cardiowebinar.com. This is a website which was launched just over six weeks ago, and it was uh, supported by a fund through the Liverpool Heart and Chest Hospital, which we're incredibly grateful for. And everyone, whether you're a doctor, a nurse, a physiologist, pharmacist, allied health professional, management, anyone, it has something in it for you. And registration is entirely free. So the cost is low, but the quality has been exceptionally high. Yeah. I mean, I think this is, uh, we are blessed by having had so many speakers, real experts from throughout the country. We've had a lot through LHCH, which has been fantastic, but throughout the country. Um, because it's so easy to organise, and because it takes up little time of an expert, there is that great flexibility, which means we can focus in on quality, and the quality has been really excellent. And finally then, Vish, what is the future of Cardio Webinar? The future is bright, because now that we have the platform, and we have a 2,000 plus following on social media, we have you know, an in, in, uh, increasing number of people registering, not in the UK, and not just doctors, but a vast number of allied health professionals, and also throughout the world. Um, we are excited that we now have a very thriving platform. The reality is all of us are desperate for that face-to-face -face interaction again. We miss it, we miss the conferences, we do miss networking. In my view, I feel that webinar-based education and face-to-face -face interaction need to form a blend together. You should have a part face-to-face -face and part virtual and it is exactly this model that we're now running in the Northwest and Mersey training days. So every month the trainees in, uh, the cardio in cardiology in our region have training days and we are blending these between a series of virtual um, uh, recordings through Cardio Webinar and live recordings and that blend is really helpful. Our next one, I believe, is next week. We are running a webinar on the DVLA and the restrictions that the DVLA may make in cardiac care. So I think that's a really interesting topic and something we'll definitely tune into. Dr. Luther, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.